China just pulled off something big in space, and it's not just about supplies. Tianzhou 9, the latest cargo spacecraft, docked with the Tiangong Space Station in just over three hours after launch. But what's on board is what makes this mission groundbreaking. We're talking advanced biotech, mini brains in orbit, emergency ready launch systems, and critical support for future lunar missions. This isn't your average resupply mission. It's a powerful signal that China's building more than a station. Tianzhou 9 isn't just the latest in China's growing cargo fleet. It's a major upgrade that redefines what a space freighter can do. Launched on July 14, 2025, atop a long March 7th rocket, the spacecraft reached the Tiangong Space Station in just 3 hours and 18 minutes. That's one of the fastest dockings we've seen in China's spaceflight history. But the Rayal story lies in what it brought and how it's designed to operate under pressure. First, let's talk scale. Tianzhou 9 carried 7.2 tons of cargo, more than any previous Tianzhou mission. This includes 1.65 tons of food to sustain the current Shinzhou 20 astronauts and prep for the arrival of Shinzhou 21. But beyond food, this spacecraft was packed with something far more futuristic, biological experiments that could redefine medicine both in space and back on Earth. Among the science payloads are stem cells derived from bone marrow, aimed at studying how microgravity impacts bone loss, a huge issue for long-term spaceflight. There are also failing heart cells on board, part of a mission to understand cardiovascular failure and test potential regenerative therapies in space conditions. And perhaps most intriguing of all, researchers included human pluripotent stem cells to grow brain-like organoids, tiny clusters of neurons designed to mimic the human brain, on microchips no bigger than a credit card. These organoids are hosted in the Wintian Lab Module's Biotech Experiment Cabinet, a mini-lab in orbit. This isn't just a science fiction headline. It's a working, orbiting lab studying how human tissue behaves when gravity is stripped away. These experiments could offer insights into aging, cognitive decline, brain disease, and recovery processes, all crucial for keeping astronauts healthy on long-term missions and unlocking treatments for Earthbound patients. But there's more to this mission than just payload. Tianzhou 9 also introduces critical engineering upgrades. It's the first Chinese cargo spacecraft capable of emergency launch, able to be rolled out and sent into orbit within just three months if needed. That means if a serious issue threatens astronaut life or mission success, China now has a logistical backup plan that's fast and reliable. Surviving in space is tough, but thriving? That's a whole new challenge. Tianzhou 9's cargo didn't stop at biotech. It also brought key gear to support astronaut health and endurance, delivering not just calories, but capability. At the top of the list is the delivery of 1.65 tons of food, enough to sustain both the current Shinjo 20 crew and prepare for the incoming Shinjo 21 astronauts, who are expected to arrive around October. That means China's orbital supply chain is now robust enough to support continuous habitation, reducing reliance on Earth-based timing and making long-term missions more resilient. But food alone doesn't keep astronauts strong. That's why Tianzhou 9 also delivered a new piece of exercise equipment designed specifically to target core strength, a crucial part of staying healthy in orbit. Weighing in at 130 kilograms, this device was built to help astronauts maintain spinal and abdominal muscle health, which are some of the first muscle groups to degrade in microgravity. Why does core strength matter so much? According to Li Inghui, a researcher at the China Astronaut Research and Training Center, the stronger we are, the farther we can go. It's not just about daily workouts. It's about enabling astronauts to perform high-effort spacewalks, recover quickly post-mission, and prep their bodies for the moon and beyond. This kind of training will be essential if China wants to send astronauts on multi-month journeys far from Earth's orbit, where emergency help isn't an option. Speaking of spacewalks, Tianzhou 9 also delivered two upgraded Fatian extravehicular mobility suits. These are next-gen Chinese spacesuits designed for external work on Tiangong and beyond. The latest versions feature improved durability and longer operational lifespans, making them ideal for increasingly complex missions. With these suits, 
astronauts can spend longer durations outside the station, conduct repairs, or support future module expansion missions with greater efficiency and less risk. Tiangong has quietly matured into something far more than just a modular space station. It's now a cutting-edge laboratory in orbit, and Tianzhou 9 proves that China is ready to use it as a powerful research engine. Let's start with one of the most futuristic experiments on board. Brain organoids grown from pluripotent human stem cells. These organoids act as simplified models of the human brain, giving scientists a way to study how neurons connect, grow, and age under the unique stress of microgravity. By placing these tiny brains inside lab-on-a-chip devices and installing them in the Wentian Lab's biotech cabinet, China is effectively creating the world's first floating brain lab in low Earth orbit. Why does that matter? In microgravity, biological systems behave differently. Cells divide, proteins fold, and genes express in unusual ways, making space the ultimate testbed for biomedical research. Studying how human tissues develop, deteriorate, or even heal without Earth's gravitational pull could revolutionize our understanding of aging, neurodegeneration, and regeneration. But that's not all. Tianzhou 9 also carries heart failure cells and bone marrow stem cells, allowing researchers to track how cardiovascular and skeletal systems break down or adapt in microgravity. These aren't just niche science projects. They are building blocks for medical breakthroughs that apply both to spaceflight and Earth-based health challenges, like osteoporosis and heart disease. Tiangong allows China to run these experiments in-house, without needing international collaboration. While NASA's research is tied up with ISS politics and shared access, China is building a fully autonomous ecosystem, controlling the hardware, the logistics, the crew, and the science. This autonomy makes Tiangong a national laboratory in orbit where biotech, materials science, and even AI-driven automation can be tested long-term. It's a preview of what China might build next, larger space labs, moon-based research hubs, or even orbital hospitals. What Tianzhou 9 represents is bigger than cargo. It's about control, capability, and vision. With this mission, China has shown it can not only sustain a space station, it can turn it into a living, breathing research platform that pushes science forward. From delivering fresh food and futuristic fitness tools, to running brain experiments in orbit and preparing for rapid response emergencies, every aspect of this mission was about leveling up. The Tiangong Space Station is no longer a newcomer, it's a contender. And with more advanced missions like Shenzhou 21 and further expansions already in the pipeline, one thing is clear. China is building a new kind of future in space. One powered by science, driven by ambition, and now backed by the technology to go even farther. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.